Hello there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus Pisces for the week of November 15th. If this one isn't resonating with you so much, Pisces, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings. Specifically, your moon and your Venus sign, you may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my free readings. Um, I do them every week. If you are a cross watcher, keep in mind that the energies here might be reversed for you. And if you would like your own private reading, you can find all of that info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. I also do a $50 reading that's a lot like what I do here on YouTube. If you want like a deep dive into the current energy. And I also do a super deep dive, um, a full reading where we do multiple questions and really get down in there deep. So all that information is down below. Uh, I think I said everything I needed to say. All right, let's get started. So, oh boy, Pisces. Um, so I pulled out an oracle card for your sign just because... I don't know. I wanted to focus the energy and these are so gorgeous. They've got the constellation on them. Imaginative, empath empathetic, and adaptable. Definitely Pisces. We have for your oracles so far, children. Your love life is being affected by children. And paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. You have something coming in here and I think it could be a very serious relationship. I think it could also be a pregnancy or an adoption. Um, it could be both of these things. Check this out. For your overall energy, and then we're going to do your person and we're going to do you we have the three of wands. Three of wands is being patient. It's waiting for your ships to come in. You can see like she's on the seashore. She's checking out, you know, these boats that are slowly getting closer to her. But there's the sense that there's, there's something coming in for you. Like something's coming into your life here. We've got the four of wands, which is stability. It's also taking things to the next level. It could mean your relationship, but it could also mean you know, a relationship with another small human. Um, four of wands is, is stability. It's being at home. It's a homecoming. The empress card, the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. She is about growth and expansion. She's also, you know, a parent. Um, regardless of gender, she's a parent. It's also like your nurturing side. Um, if you think about, you know, how a mother or someone who is mothering would act, it's taking care of someone. I think, yeah, you could have a serious relationship here leading to parenthood or parenthood itself or both. There's definitely like a big shift here. There's a big change. So let's delve into this. We're going to check out your person or check out the situation and then also you. All right, let's go. All right, Pisces, I think that we have a big energy shift going on here. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords can mean something getting unstuck. It can mean letting go or releasing. Eight of Swords is also like self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. It can be a sense of like taking control of your life when it's in the reverse, like letting go of things that don't serve you, letting go of bad habits. So I'm not sure if you did this or the person that you're about to deal with has done this. We've got the Six of Swords, which is moving into calmer waters. Six of Swords is kind of getting away from drama. It's getting away from uh, the sense of chaos. Six of Cups is it's a card of childhood. It's a part of innocence. It can mean soul ties or a soulmate. It can mean having children. Um, this could be someone that you have thought about having children with. 
or just the opportunity to have a child with somebody. Um, for a lot of you, you're becoming a parent. I say that because, all right, we've got the page of pentacles. Sometimes pages, all right, pages can be many things. They can be messages. They can be offers. Page of pentacles is definitely a valuable offer coming your way. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Sometimes they can be children. They're youths, someone who's young. Um, there is an offer coming your way from a soulmate or someone that is maybe looking to settle down because it's showing up here. Hold on. It's showing up here with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. This person could be a Taurus, but the Hierophant's about structure. Um, it's a lot like the Four of Wands that you had earlier. I think of the Hierophant, it, it's structure in society. It's religion, politics, education, the family unit. It's doing the right thing. It's following society's rules. It's, you know, having a full-time job and paying your taxes and, you know, having a mortgage and having a child and a marriage. It, it's all of that stuff. And that's what's coming in. There's some stability coming in for you. Ace of Cups is a brand new cycle. So let's see if we can get any clarification here. I hate shuffling during these because sometimes if you do jumping cards oh there we go <laughs> ah, that's funny all right thank you universe that was cute yeah you definitely have some structure coming in here this is a marriage this is a uh, parenthood all right dang all right let's take a look at your energy as well all right, Pisces. You gotta love a card like that. It was almost like I said what I said. <laughs> uh, you have had a rough time. We have the Everything is Fine card. It's the Ten of Swords uh, in the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I think you had a very painful ending, or I think you're ending a very painful cycle. There is a sense of loss and of lack with this Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is really a sense of being like abandoned. Like you can see these two people are out in the snow. They've got nothing and no one. Um, maybe you were in a relationship that just wasn't giving you what you wanted. Maybe you've been alone for a while. You feel like you don't have, you know, like that family. You don't have that relationship that you want. You don't have, you know, I think we impose these things on ourselves. You know, when I get a certain age, I need to settle down. I need to have a house. I need to have a family. I need to have a marriage. I mean, all of these things. Maybe you feel like you're off track here. But no, you aren't. You're, you're following this divine timing. Things are coming in for you. We have the star here, Aquarius energy. And the star is really a sense of being hopeful, uh, wishing on a star, calling in something for yourself, manifesting. You have every reason to be hopeful here. This painful cycle is ending. You're getting rid of this loss and you're about ready to grow. Look at all these pentacles you have. Seven of pentacles is planting seeds for your future. If you think about pentacles, they're about the tangible and the physical world. They're about time and effort and energy and value um, often you will see them represented in plants, like this one is. Uh, things that grow, things that take time, things that offer stability, things that are valuable. I think your future is coming in. The Ten of Pentacles is a seriously intense relationship. It's intense in terms of decades. And this doesn't have to be a purely a romantic relationship. This could be a, re a relationship with a child. You can see like the little boy or the little girl. I think it's maybe a little boy. The, the parents, we've got the dogs, you have the old person. This is, you know, taking care of the old folks in the next generation. This is building a foundation in your life, building security here. I think you have a family coming in whatever that looks like for you, um, whether that includes children or maybe it includes fur babies. There's nothing wrong with that either. 
But there is this sense here that you're you're getting this foundation underneath your feet, and I think you've been badly needing that. I think you've been wanting it a while. Queen of Cups, there you are, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. This is mostly ooh, okay. This is mostly a Pisces. <laughs> this is mostly a Pisces card. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you're ready for a marriage and or a commitment and or a child. There's the six of freaking cups again. All right, queen of cups. She is usually a parent. She is usually um, this very open person who just wears her heart on her sleeve and highly intuitive. I usually associate it with Pisces for me. This is definitely you. This is you in your element. You're in the upright you have a family coming in, like six of cups again. Oh, well, thank you, Tarot. I said what I said. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. If you want one of your own, you can find that info down below. Um, I think you should... I don't know, work on your savings right now, put a little money away. Um, if you happen to be carrying this child, I'd take some prenatal sorts. <laughs> uh, clean out your space so you have room for, you know, his and her towels or her and her towels or his and his towels, however it works for you. All right, blessed be.